guys, welcome to NPR Shoots. If you're new here, my name is Monica and I'm a photographer based in New York City. In today's video, I'm just going to be showing you Kentmere Pan 100 using my Yashica Electro 35. So this past weekend, me and my husband decided to hit up the Whitney Museum. It was just a perfect day. It was a perfect day. It was really sunny. It was really cold that day and windy. And we just decided to, you know, have a day for ourselves. A little quality time. Can't hurt nobody. The exhibit that they're having right now is about the Kamonge Workshop. They are a group of Black photographers based in New York City and they were documenting black culture, showing black culture in a better light compared to like how a white photographer will photograph them. The word kamange means a group of people acting together and they got the word from this book called Facing Mount Kenya by Homo Kenyatta. They elevated each other, they mentored each other, they criticized each other's work. This exhibit in general is really, really inspiring. Street photography at its finest, first of all. They just captured random moments, just how the light hits the subject and they painted with light. I mean, all of their works are just great. So here's a little footage of um, just us roaming around in the museum. I just can't show you a lot of them due to copyright reasons, but this is just a little clip of what happened in the exhibit. After that, uh, we decided to go to the balcony. So if you haven't been in the Whitney Museum, they each floor has a balcony where you can literally go out there and take photos and just see the cityscape of new york the time of day that we went it was around 1 pm so the sun was very very strong and it created lots of interesting shadows it worked perfect for this film because it is a really low iso film and a medium contrast thoughts would i buy this film again yes i really love the medium contrast the vintage vibe i'm sure this is going to be so perfect for portrait photography because it's just so soft uh, it's not so contrasty the blacks are not that black which is which is totally fine with me i wouldn't suggest using this for you know like really shadowy shots because you almost have to really direct your lens towards the sun. That was the only way I was able to get the really black blacks in these um, in these shots. It is a very fine grain also, which I appreciate. But this is really forgiving in terms of grain. Um, you can overexpose it, even underexpose it, and it will still be fine. It's like, these are some of the samples of my fails. I do recommend this for someone who wants to try daylight black and white photography because it's very forgiving in terms of grain. No matter what you do with it, it's gonna be fine grain. Thank goodness. 
Let me know in the comments below if you tried this film before. I would really love to know your thoughts on this film. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell to get notified on the next video. Until next time, bye guys.